Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I'm going to demo a brand new application from Topaz Labs. It's called Topaz Photo AI. This application isn't due to be released until September of 2022. But if you already own what Topaz Labs calls the image quality bundle, that is Denoise AI, Gigapixel AI, and Sharpen AI, you're eligible to download an early access version of Topaz Photo AI. Now, what is Topaz Photo AI? Well, the two most common questions I get concerning Topaz Labs applications are number one, in what order should I use them? Should I crop my image first and use Gigapixel, then use Denoise, then use Sharpen? Or maybe I should use Denoise first, then crop it, use Gigapixel, then use Sharpen, and so on. Well, Topaz Photo AI does all that thinking for you. When you load an image into it, it will determine, does it need noise reduction? If it does, it will automatically do the noise reduction and it will do the correct amount of noise reduction. Does your image need sharpening? If it does, it will automatically do the sharpening and it will use the correct AI model and do the correct amount of sharpening as well. And you have the option to enlarge it from within Photo AI as well. The second most common question I get concerning Topaz Labs applications are the applications themselves. They are feature rich. They have a lot of different functions. They have a lot of different AI models, different sliders. People are confused, first of all, how to use it. And then they're wondering, did I really pick the correct AI model? Do I have the sliders on the correct position? Well, again, Photo AI does all that thinking for you and does everything pretty much automatically. And I'll add a third thing. If you're going to use all three of these applications on a single image, that is you have an image and you need to remove noise with Denoise AI, and you cropped it and you need to make it larger with Gigapixel AI, and then you decide it needs a little sharpening, so you use Sharpen AI, that's very time consuming. Well, Photo AI is just way faster. And since it does most of those things automatically, it just makes your life a lot easier. I mentioned if you already own the image quality bundle, you could download Topaz Photo AI, at least get the early access version of it right now. Just go to your Topaz Labs account, log in, and you should see a download link for it there. If you don't already own the image quality bundle, it is currently on sale for $159.99. And I just checked, my discount code is working, and they told me my discount code wasn't going to work for this sale but it is working. I'm not sure how long it will be working though. In the description below this video, I will have my affiliate link and my discount code. And if you decide to purchase it, try that discount code and save another 15%. I'm not sure how long it's going to keep working. Now, with that said, we're going to work on this image. Now I'm in Lightroom. Uh, Topaz Photo AI works as a plugin in Lightroom and Photoshop, and it will work as a standalone application and work on raw files. But we're going to use it as a Lightroom plugin today because it's easier to show you some details about this image. Uh, first of all, if I zoom in, you'll see there is a ton of noise. This was shot with an ISO at 3200. So typically I would use Denoise AI, but instead we're going to try this Photo AI on this image. Also, if I hit I a couple times on my keyboard, you can see that the resolution is 867 by 1300. That is because I did a significant crop on this image. You can see that it is heavily, heavily cropped. So I need to enlarge it as well. Now, whether or not it needs sharpening, I'm not really sure. The eyes look pretty good. Of course, the beak is out of focus, but that's because I was using a long lens and it had shallow depth of field. You can see the background. So. Now, no problem. I have no problem with the beak being out of focus as long as the eyes were in focus. So I'm ready now to send this image into Topaz Photo AI. I'm going to right click right on the image, go down to edit in and down to Photo AI. Now, I've mentioned this a million times. When you use any plugin with Lightroom, Lightroom won't allow you to send a raw file into that plugin. You have to send a copy of the raw file with Lightroom adjustments. Uh, we'll use the default specs it shows here and we'll click edit. See in the top left hand corner, Lightroom is creating that TIFF file with those specs and it will automatically open it up into Photo AI. And you can see in the lower left hand corner there is a progress bar. It's actually working on it right away. And it did something. If I click on the image, there's before and there's after. You can see it removed noise automatically. 
Now if we go over here on the right hand side, you can see this section autopilot. By default that will be on. It will automatically look at your image and determine what it needs and do it to it. Uh, subject was detected. If I hover over that, you can see a red overlay is on the subject. And it did, it found the subject. No faces were detected. There's no people in the shot, but if it did, you want it to find the faces because if you're going to be doing any sharpening to the image, you usually don't want to sharpen the person's face. You do want to sharpen their eyebrows and hair and clothing. So you want to make sure you know where their faces are so you're not sharpening their face. So that's why that is there. The subject is in focus. So it probably looked at the eyes and said, well, it's in focus. We don't need to use sharpen AI on this image. And the image noise level is medium, it's saying. So let's do some before afters. I mentioned you could just click on the image and you get there's the before and there's the after. Also, there's a little eyeball here. You could click on that. There's before, click again, there's after. We're in single view mode, so single image view. Next to that, we have split view. It has this little line. You could move it. There's before and there's after. Next to that we have side by side view. Before is on the left, after is on the right, and then we could zoom in and out with that um, magnifier there. Let's go back to single image view. Now I have autopilot on. It says I'm using autopilot uh, settings. So I could override anything. You can see how it did remove noise. It has that. That's the only thing it has turned on. If I click on that and open that up, it used normal noise reduction. Well, let's say I just want to try strong. Let's click on strong and let it render. Also, there's the slider. I can move it. And, you know, so you could, you have some control over these automatic things it does. If you want to go back to the autopilot settings, just click this button up here. And we're back to autopilot. Um, face recovery isn't applicable, of course, on this image. We'll go down to sharpen. Do I want to try some sharpening? Well, yeah, it determined it probably needs some motion blur if it did have any blur. And there's a before, and there's after. You could try lens blur, see if that looks any better. And there's before, and there's after. Also, you have the strength slider. So you could see that it's a lot easier to use than the individual applications that is so far to noise AI and sharpen AI. Now, in this case, I don't think it really needs any sharpening. So I'm going to keep that off. The eyes are sharp, and that's really all I'm worried about. It has this enhance button. Now, you, you open up this section, it automatically turns it on, and it will naturally now enhance it, right? So there's before, there's after. Well, what does that mean by enhance? Let me turn it off. You can see how they're making the background a little bit different. It's like darkening the background a little bit. Um, it's in natural mode. It also has a graphics mode and a low resolution mode. Graphics mode, if you're an artist and you have a piece of art you've created and you scanned it for your computer, you could use, you know, photo AI to enhance it so it looks better by using the graphics mode. Or if you have a heavily cropped image, uh, you could use this low resolution mode. Mine is heavily cropped and it will help improve the image. So let's do a before after. There's before. You can see again, it seems to be more affecting the background. And there's the after. So that's not bad. So we'll leave enhance on. And I mentioned that you have the option to resize. It won't automatically resize your image. You have to do that if you want it done. Now this was a low resolution image, 867 by 1300. So I definitely want to resize it. You can see that's down here. If you don't see that, just roll it open with that little arrow. You have the option to just resize it by scale. You have the option of going from 1x to 6x, similar to what you have in Gigapixel. You also could just put in a specific width or a specific height. If you do that, let's say I put in a specific width, it will automatically resize the height so that you keep the same proportions. Let's say a two to three um, proportioned image, it would keep that proportion. In this case, I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to change this to 4x. All right, so when I change it to 4x, you'll see it automatically put the width at 3468 and the height at 5200. So I like that. Again, we could do before afters. Let's just hit the eyeball. There's before and there's after. And again, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to save it to Adobe Lightroom Classic by clicking right here. Now lately, Lightroom has been having an issue with plugins, not just Topaz Labs plugins, but just about any plugin that I've used. It has a problem reading the metadata from the plugin. 
it's not a problem that's hard to fix though. As you can see, I'm on the fixed image, but you can see the resolution is 867 by 1300. At first blush, you may think that Photo AI didn't do its job, but let's just click off this and click on this. Let's like zoom in, zoom out. You may have to close Lightroom up and reopen it. Yeah, there it goes, it fixed it. You can see now it's 3468 by 5200, but you also notice in the top right hand corner, you have this little postcard. That's telling me, if I click on it, that the metadata for the photo has changed and Lightroom doesn't know whether to use its own metadata the, that's in the Lightroom catalog or use the metadata that is from the plugin. You of course want to use the metadata from the plugin. So you want to choose the middle setting, import settings from disk. Click there and that all is good. So here is our fixed image. Now there are different resolutions. So if I zoom in on one, and go to the other, you can see how different it is. So it's hard to give you an AB. So let me do the best I can by just zooming in manually on this one, like right, like that. So this is our raw file. You can see all the noise mainly that is there. And of course this resolution was 867 by 1300. Let's zoom back out and go to the fixed image and we'll try to zoom in similarly there. And you can see that the noise is gone. I mean, there's no noise at all. You can see the eye is super sharp. It looks good. I mean, it's just something I'd share uh, with the world compared to the other one, which I probably wouldn't share with the world. So that is Topaz Labs Photo AI. Again, in the description below this video, I have a link to their website. If you don't already own the image quality bundle, definitely buy it while it's on sale and try my discount code. You'll save another 15%. And again, I'll add, those are my affiliate links. So I will make a commission if you do that. If you do already own the image quality bundle, just log in to your account. Go up here and click on account and log in. And you should see uh, in your downloads, a link to download the uh, photo AI so you could try it out for yourself. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>